Hello, my name is Sarah Chamberlain and I'm part of the Osher at Dartmouth office staff. Welcome to part two of the Osher at Dartmouth video tutorial series on accessing your online course folder. In our first session, I explained some of the basic tools you'll need in order to access your course folder, such as knowing how to open your email account, how to open a message, and knowing which web browser you use and how to get to it. In this session, I'm going to explain how the Osher at Dartmouth office provides you with access to your course folder and how you link to and open your folder. So how do you actually find and open a course folder? First of all, you must be a registered member of an Osher at Dartmouth course in order to access the course folder. When you register for your class, you usually tell the Osher at Dartmouth staff whether you would prefer to receive your course materials via email or in printed form. When registration is complete and our staff begins to supply the course welcome packets, if you've selected email, we will email you the link to your course folder. And I'm going to show you how that message might appear in your email inbox. So here you can see my email account. I'm using an online version of Microsoft Outlook, and if you use a different email program, your screen probably looks quite different from mine. But regardless of which email program you use, the important thing is finding the email that includes your course info. And the email I'm looking for is right here. I can see that this message came from Osher at Dartmouth, and this subject line tells me what this message is about and includes the name of my course. For this tutorial, I'm using a completed class as an example. A sense of place met during our spring 2014 term, but it provides a good example of the types of things that you might see as you work with a course folder. In this session, we're just going to take a glance at the folder. We're just basically trying to arrive at it today. But in later sessions, we'll really begin working with the contents you'll see. A quick note here, the Osher at Dartmouth office will usually begin distributing welcome packets around the time that the registration period closes or shortly thereafter. Check our website or look at your catalog for registration dates. If you requested your course materials via email, just watch your inbox for a message from Osher at Dartmouth. But don't forget to check your junk mail folder or your spam folder. Sometimes the messages are diverted there accidentally. Um, once you find your welcome email, though, click it open and take a look. It's going to provide you with a basic overview of the class, your schedule, and some other important details. And while I do urge you to read through your welcome message when it arrives, for today we're just concerned with the link to the course folder, which appears right here in this message. On my screen it appears underlined in a bold color, and when I move my mouse over it, the symbol changes to a hand with a pointed finger. On this computer that means that all I have to do is click once on this bit of text, because it's what's called a live link. It means that it'll take me right away to that website. Um, some computers might show a little hint bubble telling you you have to hit control while you click. And other computers may not show this highlighted or provide this kind of change. It might just show up as simple text. Um, there are some steps you can take to still use that to get to a website. And I'll show you those in a moment. But first I'm going to show you what happens when you click this active link. And right away you can see that my browser window opens the course folder, and you can already see the contents of the folder right here. And now that we've arrived, my suggestion would be for you to bookmark this page or to save it in your favorites menu. My favorites are right up here. That way you can return to it whenever you wish. And I'm going to discuss creating bookmarks and saving pages as a favorite in part three of this series. But for now, I'll just warn you that if you don't save this page as a bookmark, you should save the original email message in order to return to your course folder when you need to. But for now I'm going to backtrack a moment and return to our original email message. And now we're going to help those who don't receive an active link. So if you see this as a plain line of type or text, you can still use this line to arrive at your course folder, but you have to perform a couple of little steps. First, you need to use your mouse to select this text. You're going to click and hold your mouse button either at the beginning of the link or at the end and click and drag until you've highlighted the entire address, then release the mouse button. Course folders always begin with HTTPS, so the beginning is just before the H, and they always end with the word sharing, so the end is just after the G. So remember, it's click and hold your mouse button until you get to one, the opposite end of that link and then release. So I'm just clicking and holding and releasing once everything is highlighted. 
And on my screen, this shows up as a light blue. On your screen, it may show as a different color. As long as some sort of shading appears to highlight this text, you're on the right track. So with this, this link selected, we're going to first copy the info and then paste it into our browser. You copy the info on a Mac very quickly by pressing the Command and then the C key, while on a PC you press and hold the Control key and then the C key. And remember, that's C as in Charles for both computers. I'm going to do that now. I'm on a Mac, so that's Command C. And I've copied. And because I need to go to a web page, I need to be in my browser in order to do that. I'm already in my browser. I'm using Chrome to open my email, so I'm just going to open a new page in Chrome by clicking this little tab. And one single click opened a new page. From here, all I have to do is paste the link into my address bar. That info that we just copied gets pasted into the bar right up here. And in order to do that, on a Mac, I press Command and V, and on a PC, I would press the Control and V. And remember, that's V as in Victor for both computers. So here I go pasting on a Mac with Command V. And so now, in order to get to that page, I just have to hit the Enter or Return button. And it takes me right back to that course folder once again. So as I said before, my email was already open in my browser, but your email may be a separate program. And if that's the case, I'm going to backtrack one more time to show you that it's still very simple to use this line of text. If it's active, it's going to automatically open your browser. If you have to do the copy and paste command, all you have to do is copy with command or control C, and then just find your browser and open it up. And in my case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going along the bottom row where my start menu is, and I'm just going to click my Firefox browser open. Once again, I'm finding my address bar, which is right up here at the top. Um, there's information in my address bar here. I just need to get rid of it by highlighting and either deleting it, or in my case, I'm just going to paste right over the top of it with Command V. You see my link has, uh, has been pasted in. I hit Enter or Return to visit the page. And there I go once again. My, my course folder is open. So... We've just spent several minutes performing a series of steps that are actually going to take you much less time to perform in reality. All that's required is utilizing one of the two methods we just covered. So method one was if you receive an active link, just click on it. It's as simple as that. Method two, if you just receive a plain line of simple text, you have to select that text and copy it, and then you open your browser and paste it into the address bar. And don't forget, as I mentioned earlier, you'll probably want to save your course folder page as a bookmark or favorite in order to return to it easily. Otherwise, you'll have to save and return to your original email every time you want to visit your course folder. So a bookmark really makes it a lot easier to get back to your course folder page when you want to visit it. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in our next session, Part 3, Creating a Bookmark. Thanks for watching this session. I hope it provided you with some useful information. If you have any comments or suggestions, please contact the Osher at Dartmouth, Dartmouth office. I'll see you next time.